Okay, this guy is on a mountain, right? So technically he's uh, not he's not going to expose me to the open, right? So technically that means I can do something like this and not suffer a penalty, right? And maybe I can somehow pull off a victory? Yeah! Fuck you! Well, you know what? I'm not even going to try risking my dragoons. I'll actually try that again. Come on! Yeah! Why didn't I think of that sooner? Because I'm a dumbass! <laughs> As SKS would say, I'm a dumbass. Well, that's because he is. Me, I'm new to this game, okay? First time playing that, remember children? So, uh, you kids can be hard on me all you want. <laughs> I was a little worried there that I would actually lose that one. <laughs> kind of glad that didn't happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take more trade goods back to sell. Again, I could focus on trading with the Indians, but I only have one wagon train right now. I need to build another one. So I can focus on that better. And so, um, what are we producing here? Just random stuff that I've been making. Uh, these aren't as valuable as, say, that. That, although I have very little of that, I should make more rum. I know you're good at making coats and everything, buddy. I guess you can keep making those. I need more colonists there to take advantage of all that stuff. Maybe get an expert or something. Go to La Rochelle. Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Colonization, by the way. I'm Grimoth. My side still hurt from last video. That, that was a fucking epic in action, everybody. A fucking epic. That, I can't even describe what happened there. But it was funny. It was funny, and that's what matters, everybody, is it not? Oh my gosh. You know what, I got so many horses here, I'm loath to just stash them all here. Like, I want to take more... Can can I activate this caravel? Can, can, do you have another move this turn? You do not. Your job is to take this up to Quebec. Stash uh, that ore in there so I can produce more goodies. Like now. You make more tools. So I can do stuff with that master gunsmith. You put the tobacco on you. I can put... I can put the... I can put the... Start making sentences, Grimoth. Put the horses on the wagon, since they'll actually get to Montreal next turn. Got it. I'm nodding my head at the screen now. I totally agree with the strategy. And you can just sell the fur and the tobacco. I should probably try to make those into goods, but... Let me show you on the doll where I care. Wait, I don't. Shit. Fortify. Pioneer has reverted to, to a colonist. Okay, let's actually start making uh, progress. Progress. To um, camping this dude up here. Little fucker. I'm coming for you. I'll stop there. You need to go into Montreal because I'm going to suit you up with horses in a little bit. You're going to need lots of dragoons for this one, children. Lots and lots of dragoons. I need some more tools for my pioneer here. So he can continue to make everything special. So go get those. We've got lots and lots of ground to plow, dude. Dude, lots and lots of ground to plow. It appears I've alarmed the Indians. Fancy that. Was it because I moved right next to them with a huge army of dragoons? Could it be? <laughs> what do you know? What are the odds? Now the Indi the English will be like, Rafa, Rafa, you didn't know I was going to move stuff here, right? 13 furs. I, I like free stuff. 11 sugar. I still like free stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aww. Uh -oh. Oops. <laughs> you fucked that one up, buddy. Raffle, 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 raffle. Sweet, I've gone back to gaining a bonus in production. If I even had one here to begin with, I honestly don't remember. Anyway, uh, producing an excessive amount of ore. I'll continue to stay like this, though I honestly do think that I need to make some Liberty Bells. So I'll have you do that. Excess of food. Fan-fucking-tastic. 
Um, fort under in Roanoke is still being constructed. That's got a long way to go. I have lots of weak cities here, and I'm still going to have more weak cities. I'll just have to find a way to cope with that somehow. You need to get back on the spot and produce more ore for me. And I'm also going to need to train another lumberjack when I get the chance. Don't let me forget, everybody. Don't let me forget. You're going to let me forget, aren't you? I don't have a free colonist here to spare anyway. I can always move one in. Move one of these uh, many dudes. Okay, you build a wagon train. It'll be fine. Staring at the game just to make sure that's what I want. You go back home and sell that stuff. You, um, I will uh, handle your movement myself. I'm going to move you down to Montreal and stash these horses there. Tons and tons of horses. You can fortify yourself. You shall move back up there, as I foretold in the prophecy. Deliver those horses. No, the horses were spired. No, until I do this. Good. Stretch. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> Moving along now. Uh, I'll go ahead and fortify this unit. I guess I could bring up an artillery piece and attack with it. <laughs> That'd be funny, everybody. Who knows? I might need the extra strength, right? What, what, what kind of, uh... Let me check out the, um... This thing here. Maybe unit... Artillery is very effective at attacking and defending colonies. Well, that's what I thought. In that case, I'm actually gonna bring both of these with me. I know... I'm crazy. Well, I guess not, because I already told that one to be fortified. So, uh, I'll start moving that up into support of that. You can come in here, and, uh, I'll put you to work making tools. That'll be fine. I'll eventually train you to be a man. Now you're a man! A man, man, man. Moving on, everybody. Free colonist right there for me. Excellent. So I can make you into a lumberjack when I get the opportunity. For now, you can uh, help build that next artillery unit that will I, I will undoubtedly do something with. Right. So many units, folks. So many units. You can go back up to Quebec and you will be receiving strip special training again. I will go ahead and make advances. Or try. Damn it! That was a fail, everybody. You saw that there? Yeah, I failed. It was unfortuitous for everyone involved. Come on, try again. Yes! I'm advancing on your turf, dude. I'm here. I'm here to pew pew you. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. I will wait. You guys do your movement. That's a pioneer. He is coming to collect tools. 80 more tools for the pioneer. Excellent. You shall attack. Yay! Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. And uh, how many more units will we actually be able to move? You fortify there. Go to Quebec. Do, 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 do. You go to Quebec as well. Oh yeah, we're going to fill that place up with lots of dudes. But it has so much spare food, so we might as well, right everybody? We might as well. Train all these guys. Uh, What do we got going on here? Turns fortification, okay. You move up then. You're going to help me assault up here. I have two dragoons to spare in terms of movement. I'm just going to have them wait for the time being. Indians are moving around. The Apache are like, what the fuck is going on? <gasps> the Apache make a surprise raid on me. You dumbasses. 
I have like my entire fucking army here. Where the fuck do you think you're going? I think he's he's gonna distract me. Prices are rising. That's cool. Sell this stuff. Value of rum has uh, plummeted since the last time I paid attention. Oops. I could get more free colonists. I could buy stuff or train people. Mm, no. I will save this money for what though? I'm not sure. I guess I could. I'll buy more horses. Fuck it. There we go. I'll stash those in places. And we'll be good to go, everybody. The cargo of tools. What are you doing here? I'm losing track as I'm taking care of so many things at once. 28, you're producing an excess of lumber slowly. You're producing an excess of ore, congratulations. Slowly producing more Liberty Bells so I can fit more colonists in there eventually. Now I need to look at that city again. You made another wagon train. I had no doubt in my mind. Make another artillery piece. Reinforce. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of work to do. And uh, head on to Montreal. Deliver this stuff. Uh. Shit. Too many horses! <laughs> Unload the horses. Uh, I could always take out some colonists. I could make them dragoons for the lulls. I certainly have the muskets. So actually, let's go ahead and do that then. Whee! Stars forbid I spoil horses. That'd be terrible. Fucking travesty. I have enough gold stockpile for the time being. So you guys do that. I don't have anybody to train anymore. Shit. Get back in the colony! I didn't mean to do that! I'm sorry, everybody. Okay, you take 22 horses with you. No! Move those onto the wagon train. There we go. And you can take the coats and cloth with you, because I guess I'll go back and sell those. No, I won't. That's not worth my time. Okay. Right, I got it. You! Here we go. You're a dragoon. That'll be fine. But you just didn't have any horses to spare, cause, or equip, because you already had horses on you. Right, that made sense in my head, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take lumber from you, and uh, cart that to SKS. Whew, serious shit's happening, folks. I'm not used to managing this many cities slash colonies in a game. But it is certainly amusing and, you know, it's a bit of a challenge and entertaining for me to do so. So I shall continue. That will be fine. That's enough supplies there. Uh, how about you wait? You're going to move into this colony and... Do that. Produce crosses. Oh. That's the sound the cross makes, everybody, just in case you didn't know. You guys missed that memo. There it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and move this guy back. Actually, I'll have him try to take care of this guy. Excellent. Stupid scout. Advance! And... Wait. And advance and wait. And you shall advance and wait as well. I want that artillery unit up here to attack before I try anything funny. You can head back into Montreal and perhaps do something with your life. Another colonist. Whew. Lots of people, but I still have so much spare food and we're still at 100% liberty. Excellent. I actually need to start training other people then. Because I'll have even more colonists. So make me another elder statesman. Oh yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of spare people here. Um, that case... I can spare this. Make another fisherman for me. So I can send that to SKS. Oh yeah. 
Lots and lots of... Did you guys get the memo about lots and lots of people in Quebec? I hope you did. I'm still at 100% independence in there. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Nah, she. Your job shall be to come up and support this war effort. I'm freaking out the Indians. They're like, oh god. <laughs> Doom. Doom. Um... I guess focus on improving uh, Cayenne over here. Those are mountainous terrain. I need to build a road there and plow those two squares. So I still have a little bit of work to do before I'm, I call myself completely done with that. First thing I'll do though is build a road there so the Indians can't cock block me forever and ever. I also need to build a road connecting these two. Privateer there is not a big deal at all. You can't really threaten me whenever I have so many cities in my network, dude. You just can't. I will wait to attack until all my forces are here. There's no need to be so reckless right now. No need for it. <clears throat> well, aren't you just a cocky son of a bitch? I don't have a fort there, so you can do that at your leisure. Bastard. Oh, he's like, oh shit! <laughs> I need to move more dudes in the Jamestown. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, what was it that I sold you that was, like, worth practically nothing? Don't tell me to try to sell you food. That'd be silly. Maybe I did. Um. Don't feel like buying anything. I'll save that money just in case I need it. Although, I could, uh. Buy an artillery unit and bring that up to continue to support my war front against the English. Which I like the idea of. I'll do that. Scratching my eyes there for a little bit. Sorry, folks. No, I can make those just fine and easily on my own. Uh, huh. I'll step out. I'll send the caravel back. There's nothing. I believe in you guys. You'll get that fort done eventually. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, tell you what. You wait. You. What are you producing excesses of? Ore and lumber. So you can keep that stuff for now. Give me the tobacco and the fur. I will take that back to Montreal. Ta -da! Okay. Move the army along here. You need to go back and get some horses. Wait. Wait. Uh, is this ground plowed? It sure is. What is there? Hills and road. I'm not going to worry about that then. Move there. Plow that terrain. And we'll call that done and done. Wait. Wait. You are going to get training eventually, you guys. For the time being, just produce some stuff. Lumberjack. Hoorah. Drop that stuff off here. Oh, you will eventually run out of lumber. Do you have anybody producing tools right now? You do not. Oh, that is unfortuitous. Actually, I could, uh make another um i can continue to mount these guys into dragoons and maybe get them trained by you know throwing them into battle <laughs> yeah crazy idea i know everybody crazy but i think it's crazy enough to try to do it it's the worst that happens i have spare horses right now i'm not gonna do that i'll be fine right now everybody let's just continue wait you move up. I need to build a road there. I'm leery of uh, leaving that thing completely unprotected. What can I take from here? I should have brought... Something down here, I'm sure of it. I just don't know what I should have. <laughs> uh, continue to go to Roanoke. And pick up stuff there. Or maybe I should have brought you things like... Oh, I don't know. Tools! I didn't have them to spare. I can buy you. Not worth it. I'll take the fur out of here and I'll cart that back to the mainland. As it were. 
Um, you should go up here. You are going to be supporting everything. So are you. Indians are getting freaked out. They're like, oh god. Doomsday approaches. Shit. Uh, let's bring this privateer over to just watch over this city. And uh, actually watch over it from the direction of Plymouth. I'm going to tell these guys to all wait here. Seems like the smartest idea for me to do so. Uh, how about you wait? Okay, I don't want to leave that artillery completely defenseless there. I'd rather have a Dragoon with it, so I will do that. And in my turn. After I draw nine cards. That's right, nine. You didn't know I could play the draw nine cards card? Sweet. Come on. Yeah! Continue to weaken yourself. I'm perfectly acceptable with that. Continue turn. You learn how to be a carpenter, and you produced an artillery unit. Excellent. Build a... <laughs> Let's think about that. What a novel concept. Me thinking. I know. I just burned myself. Ouch! <laughs> Zing! Alrighty, I don't need to train any more of those guys, but I do need another lumberjack. Yes, yes. All fine and well. So, poppycock. Lumberjack. Uh, we are so gonna burn through that lumber. <laughs> uh, tell you what, you two try to chop down as much lumber as we can. That's 18. It still has us outnumbered there for a little bit, but uh, we'll have to manage and make do. Um, that'll be fine. New cargo tools is ready. Excellent. Anybody else ready? Like people who are trained? Nope. Damn it. Alrighty. Uh, huh. Don't know. Let's move this artillery unit up. Now let's move this Dragoon up and wait. Lots of wait commands while I think about that. Move into Roanoke. Mighty Explorer! I'm, thank you for welcoming me to New Netherlands. We never condone piracy. Let's end this war. I. Maybe you will get your ass off of that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done. I'm busy. I've gone on to bigger things. Bigger, bigger things. Um, actually, I like to. I guess I'm gonna leave that thing unguarded now. Oops. Oh well. Hopefully that won't backfire. You get back on mounted horse. Yay! All right, everybody. Next time. What is here in the stack? Can I attack with one of these artillery units from the beginning, like from now? I can! Sweet! Next video, I'm not done with this session yet, now. I could be. It'd be an epic cliffhanger, wouldn't it? Do, 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 do. We'll see how much of a dick I feel like being. Yep, regardless, we're going to have a good vow and uh, attack Jamestown, for better or worse, and observe the consequences, everybody. Hope to see you there. Toodaloo!